Hello, welcome back. This is demo two out of three for the open source preview of DG and components. I highly recommend that you watch the DG demo because you know, this will assume that you have some knowledge of that, but just in case you haven't, you'll probably be able to follow along. What we're going to be talking about today is components, which is a framework that provides a YAML front end for Dagster, um, but a customizable one, and also is just in general what we would deem a platform for building and consuming integrations. And what we're gonna do is build a zero to one pipeline in just a few minutes, an ELT pipeline that ingests data using Sling and then transforms that data using DLT, all without ever having to touch a line of Python. Okay, broadly just the context of this is that uh, without getting too deep into it, is that often Dexter asks too much from its users, especially in cases where they just have simple, straightforward use cases, like someone else has set up a Dexter installation and an analytics engineer, for example, has been tasked with setting up what should be a fairly simple pipeline. Unfortunately, we have very powerful APIs, but sometimes they don't scale down to those more straightforward use cases. We make complex things possible, but the simple things should be simpler. Uh, to put it concretely, you know, we force people to write a bunch of code like this to do what is in effect a fairly lightweight customization of our DBT integration. Um, and this is what that makes me feel like. Uh, we should be doing better for our users. And instead of writing code like this, the goal of components is they, they write code like this in a very ergonomic tool assisted way um, where we, the user needs to provide the minimal amount of information needed for the integration to succeed and no more. So the goals here of components is one, to increase the accessibility of Daxter to people who don't know Python or people who don't want to learn another deep Python API. Maybe they work in notebooks, maybe they work in an ML runtime, right? And they don't want to learn Dagster to that degree in order to get their job done. We want integrations to be better and faster, right? And we want in terms of ease of use. And we want every integration to feel like an end-to-end -end product experience. And then we want to enable platform owners at companies that have stakeholders to allow their stakeholders both to self-serve without blocking on the centralized data platform team, but to do so in a way that leaves them with highly standardized pipelines. And we think components accomplishes those goals. And with that, let's jump straight to a demo. So let's go and look at a terminal. Okay, so this is a clean folder. And what I'm going to do is I am going to scaffold a project. Um, so this is a play off the famous example in DBT, the Jaffle Shop, and we're gonna build a full Jaffle platform that includes another tool. The tool in question here is called Sling, which is a um, <coughs> ELT tool that does ingestion, similar to Fivetran or Airbyte, um, but this is a like simple but effective command line utility that's been used by a lot of our users. Um, so, oops, I forgot wrong command there, pardon me. So we're going to add the integration <coughs> of Daxter Sling. And the moment that we do that, um, we can go in and look at the docs for this thing. Okay, so we have integrated docs. Excuse me. I'm gonna, one second, I'm gonna move around my presentation so I don't constantly do that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna look at the DBT doc, the, pardon me, the sling docs here and click on this. You know, this just happens automatically once you um, um, check this out. <clears throat> And now we have, okay, there's a link to Sling, the tool, there's documentation about this replication.yaml thing, which is a Sling concept, and there's a scaffold command here. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna scaffold. Okay, so what happened here? Now let's go to DB, let's go to VS Code and see what's been generated here. So there's this defs folder, there's ingest files, there's this components, it points to this replication. Um, and now we have this. Okay, <clears throat> well, 
I am going to copy and paste in an example Sling replication. Let's imagine I went to the Sling tutorial and figured out what we wanted to do. And what we're going to do here is ingest some CSV files. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. Okay. Before I do that, Sling recommends you run a couple tests here. So I'm going to do that. This makes sure that it's pointed to a DBT connection and then it tests it. Okay, those are Sling specific commands. Um, I'm also going to download these files um, locally. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and now based on that, I'm going to do my list defs command. And whoops, let's see here. Looks like we have an error in. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're doing it live here. I'm going to relist the defs. Okay, there we go. Um, so we listed that. I am actually going to open DG Dev now. So to also show you how this looks in our UI. Um, okay, let's bring this down. Okay, these have not been materialized yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, this is going to do a run. Make sure that it does that. Okay, it's always nice to watch this beautiful UI, even though it's also fun to do at the command line. There's just so much stuff happening. Um, <clears throat> now let's verify that this got ingested. Lo and behold, it is. Okay, well, we have a working Sling integration. That was not that hard. Now I'm going to bring in Jaffle Shop, which is a prefab example that comes from DBT. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to clone in the Jaffle Shop um, project. If you're familiar with DBT, this will look very familiar. We have the DBT project and a bunch of models. Okay, now what I need to do, <clears throat> I'm going to install the DBT adapter, the DuckDB adapter for DBT, and I'm going to install Dagster DBT. Okay, once I do that, I can see, see here, I can see that there's this DBT project component, okay? And I want to look at that in the docs. So we're going to serve the docs again. Go over here. <clears throat> and lo and behold, look at that. Prefab DBT project. Now, this one, the schema is going to be more involved than the previous one. So there's all this stuff you can do um, <clears throat> with DBT. Uh, if you look at here, there's a project directory. There's all sorts of interesting stuff we can do and discover. Um, OK. So. Now what I'm going to do is I need to scaffold um, a new project. Okay, well not a new project, I need to scaffold a new instance of the integration. Um, pardon me, let's copy and paste that. Okay, so we're gonna call this Jaffle DBT <coughs> assets, Jaffle shop assets, pardon me. And then we're going to point it at this project, okay? Okay. We go into here, and now we see there's a new Jaffle Shops assets, and it looks like it's gonna be pointing to <coughs> that. Well, that looks interesting. Now, let's double check that the YAML can be parsed. So we have DG check YAML, and that parsed successfully. What happens if we would have fat fingered that? Well, first of all, there's actually a VS Code extension. So that's really exciting. So I already know within that. But if you want to do it here, look at that. So this is all supported with high quality tooling um, to make it easy for you to check during local development and during CI. OK. Now I need to quick go and compile the DBT project. Okay, now let's list the defs here. Okay, it's a bunch of DBC stuff, that's interesting. Well, I think this is gonna be easier to view in the web browser, so let's go and check that out. Go into here. Okay, well this is interesting. 
Now, one thing I notice is that the DuckDB DBT stuff is not hooked up to Sling. And if I inspect this more closely, these things have this. This is their asset key. And this thing has this, which is their asset key. So I need to make these line up. So I need to add target main to the DBT uh, uh, YAML. OK. So let me minimize this. Whoops. So how do I do that? Well, we can just, this thing called asset attributes can reassign them. <clears throat> and this is where the power of the templating engine comes into play. Um, so we can do that. Um, and then let's do what we did before. We'll check the DBT YAML, pardon me, the Dagster YAML. And we can list the defs and see how it looks. Looks pretty good, okay. And now let's do the final step and verify it in the UI. And look at that. One beautiful asset graph that integrates multiple technologies. You can understand what's going on. There's a sling sync, there's this, and now we can materialize all of them. Okay, there's two steps here, which makes sense. One sling replication, and then one dbt build right here. And then I can double check once the dbt is built. Okay, go here, and it's been built. And we have ourselves a data platform. Um, you know, this is by far the easiest and fastest way to integrate multiple complex technologies like DBT and Sling and get them into one unified living asset graph. Um, we think this is a huge step forward for the data ecosystem. And stay tuned for the next video, which is how we'll explain how you build a custom component for your own needs, not just use a prefab one.